Okay, uh, an example for the slippery slope would be, oh, well, if we, uh, if we accepted uh, the evidence of Psy, then lo and behold, nobody would be safe, our privacy would be completely gone, and all of a sudden, everybody would be mind-controlled. That isn't necessarily the case. We don't obviously know. Um, a, a, even if Psy has existed, there may be physical laws regarding it, such as, you know, uh, you can only get 20% accuracy or something like that. Like, we honestly don't know. Anyway, um, that's uh, an example of a slippery slope. The next one is red herring. Deflecting attention from, uh, away from the real issue, diverting the audience. Basically, that would be uh, if you're in the midst of a debate, uh, if you bring up a small point in somebody else's argument and then try to uh, debunk them based on only that micro point and avoid the main issue of what they're trying to argue about, that would be a red herring. Uh, appeal to popularity. A proposition is argued to be true because it is widely held to be true. This would be an example of a myth. Like, say, for example, um, for uh, many hundreds of years, people believed the world was flat, but we know that to not be the case anymore. It's actually circular or spherical. Um, more in the next video.